What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with you guys today, doing a little part two of my last project. The last project that I did was the 20 gallon long. I got it from Petco and I ended up drilling it. Uh, I'm gonna attach it to my 150 gallon reef tank. And the reason why is so that this can be like an integrated frag tank with my with my regular system you know just gonna have one protein skimmer one uh, dosing station one of everything and that's it uh, this is bare bones uh, you can see my 20 gallon long right there right next to my 150 gallon tank the only problem guys and this is a problem for me is if my 150 was a little bit further off the wall this uh the uh, e-shops overflow would fit perfectly but there's no way that i'm gonna move uh, my 150 just to push it a little bit forward so um i'm a little bit stuck like this because my overflow is not flush had i gone with a different overflow um everything would have been okay or maybe if i would have just went ahead and drilled the bottom of my tank everything would have been you know better for this frag tank to keep everything a little bit organized i went ahead and used some black egg crate i'm just cutting it down to size with some um, cutters and you know the white egg crate you can get that all day every day at lowe's or home depot i just happen to have some black so i'm going to use this in my little 20 gallon frag tank i'm cutting it down really easy to do the color really wasn't that important i would have went with the uh, white because eventually it probably turned purple anyways uh, with the coralline algae and things like that so if you don't have black egg crate don't sweat it it'll turn purple eventually but if you can get it go ahead and do it because it does look pretty nice as you can see i'm going to use purple purple pvc it's uh one inch and i have the pvc cutters right there from uh husky home depot just these things are way easier you just squeeze it it clicks it applies the pressure and it, it splits the pvc down in half this is what it looks like after i'm done i think it looks pretty sweet i'm gonna add the uh, purple legs i'm just gonna super glue them i'm not gonna do anything fancy i'm just gonna super glue them together to the bottom of the plastic and it's gonna look pretty sweet as you can see this is the uh, one, the 20 gallon stand. It's pretty solid. You know, I might have went overboard, but I like how it looks, and uh, it fits my 20 gallon pretty nicely. Um, I'm not going to add a board or anything like that. You know, um, it's just going to be supported right like that. I didn't do anything fancy. All I did was get some brown spray paint, and I spray spray painted the heck out of the the stand. Several coats. Um, I figured, well, you know, this is going to look pretty cool. Anyways, I'll give it a try. Usually, I go ahead and, and stain, but this time I just uh, used some spray paint brown that I had laying around. This is what my tank looks like plumbed. have a little bit of sawdust because I got a hole saw. I drilled it into my tank. And what I wanted to show you is my overflow. Before I even got started, I wanted to make sure everything was nice and tight um, so I put a little bit of water in there there's a little bit of pump there's the overflow I like how it looks the only problem is I'm not happy with where the water level is and I'll show you that um, I got a little elbow I drilled into it I put some uh, tubing in there so it doesn't make um, so much noise um, I'm only going to be using one of the drains I didn't want to do a dual drain on this overflow it does have it there but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like that the light that I went with is a good old AI it's a great light I have it on the extension covers up the whole tank pretty nicely so I'm pretty happy with it I like the color of the brown that I used um, I just spray painted it and I think this thing is gonna look pretty sweet let's go ahead and get a little bit of closer look on the back end one more time you guys can pause it if you have any questions 
um, it is holding water this is a piece of plastic like I said I wasn't happy with the water level where the overflow sits so I found a lid to a box of screws and I cut the plastic off and what I did is I got some super glue and I went ahead and covered it all up so that way um, you know what I can raise the water level just covered it up with super glue and just let it cure it prob probably would have been okay right where it's at, but I just wanted it up a little bit taller, a little bit higher. And um, for me on this tank, I'm not gonna be using a whole heck of a lot of flow. It's, it's gonna be so simple. Um, just, it's gonna, I'm using the weakest pump that I have. It's just gonna pump into this tank and, uh, and return back to the uh, skimmer section of my sump and then just go like that nothing fancy about it at all but it is at the same time tied into my 150 so very happy with it with it so far and hopefully it works out pretty good i am wondering how many of you guys would actually do something like this to your tank your main display um, i do have this frag tank set up so i picked up some frags from a local reefer a couple of frags nothing uh, crazy my chalice right here and of course some zoas and uh nothing crazy some polyps so i'm really happy um i like how my corals are looking in here already i moved like frags off of the 150 into the 20 gallon long and i'm gonna go ahead and get some more little frag racks in here so i'm gonna jam pack this little 20 as much as i can uh those of you who have been with me for a while I had a Innovative Marine 24 gallon all in one and I had that thing jam packed with corals. So I'd like to do something with this uh, kind of similar to that. Um, and like I said, I'm using just a regular AI light and I think it's gonna be just fine. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Make sure you do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe. You can forward this video to Facebook or whatever uh, help me get those views and uh, follow along so you can see the evolution of a 20 gallon frag tank attached to a main display um, thanks for watching guys you take it easy and y'all have a good one